What's up you guys, welcome back into the video. Today we're going to be looking at the HP carburetor for a motorized bicycle. Basically in today's video I'm going to be doing a little overview on the carb, you know what are my opinions on it and what things to modify um, to make it run better. So a few basic things to know about this carburetor is this is the run position and then this is the choke position. You notice that it stays like that, that's because there's a little stopper built in to uh, act as an auto choke and then when you give the bike full throttle um, you know when the bike is running and everything this choke will automatically pop back up also this is a idle adjust and not an air fuel screw so on the clones it's just a idle adjust and then on the real Delordos um, there's a brass fuel air screw that will properly adjust that and now that you know everything about it let's discuss the issues so there are a few parts you're going to have to go ahead and swap from the, the standard NT carburetor to make this HP carburetor work properly. So the main thing that we need to swap is the main jet. You can see I don't have it installed anymore. This is the emulsion tube some refer to and this gets screwed into the main body of the carburetor. And then your jet, which this is the original one that came with the HP carburetor, which I believe is a 78 or a 76. It's quite rich. I haven't measured it yet, but I know it's quite rich and it never ran properly. Hence why my last carburetor, which I showed in, you know, um, older videos, never worked properly. is because I left that stock jet in and I did not change it over to the one that came with this one. But at the time I didn't know that. That was a few years ago. But um, yeah, so you're going to have to go ahead and change that over. And this little piece right here, a lot of people have problems with this, and it's because this is designed for a scooter cable. And generally, scooter cables um, on mopeds and pocket bikes, um, the cable length from the housing to the end is actually a lot longer than a motorized bike. So you don't need this piece. Uh, scrap it. Don't use it. Um, what you want to use is the piece off the standard NT, which goes on top of this top cap. And I'll throw up a picture right here. And basically what that will do is it will allow it to, you know, have the proper cable length so the throttle doesn't stick wide open all the time. Now I know I'm going to get a few comments saying, oh, well you could rejet to a 66 or a 68. But in my experience with that HP carb out there is the fact that it runs a lot leaner than your standard NT. Hence why it runs better because the NT tends to run richer and that causes four stroking and, you know, lesser top speed and overall, you know, not as good of an RPM range. So with that carburetor out there, it's going to allow it to get into the higher RPM range. And once I go ahead and throw an MZ clone on there, or you know some other various upgrades, it's only going to help the performance. Also, I'd like to mention that the fuel inlet on this carburetor is slightly smaller than your standard one. So even on the stock fuel line, you'll probably have to go ahead and install a hose clamp like I've done here, and you'll get no fuel leaks. And this bolt that's on here with the nut, um, the 10 millimeter hex, this works a lot better than the standard M4 hardware with um, a brass Phillips. Instead of that, we have a stainless steel bolt here. So like I stated earlier, once you go ahead and swap that main jet out, you should be pretty much good to go. Just make sure that you install that top cap properly on the throttle slide. And take note that I'm only using this on a pretty much stock engine. This has a little bit of port work to it. The muffler is slightly gutted and it has this bolt-on carburetor. So it's not a serious build. Um, as you can tell, it's a trail bike just judging by the sprocket size. But I don't really know how these carburetors work on a reed valve setup. Like I said, I have a few reed valves myself. So if you guys want to see this exact carburetor be tested on those platforms, um, drop it down in the comments below. Let me know so that way I can do it for you. So you're probably asking yourself by now, how is this carburetor better than my NT? And there are a few reasons to the why. Um, the first reason is that it is a flat slide carburetor, not a circle slide carburetor. So what that's going to do is it's really going to even out the fuel flow, or the airflow, sorry, that's coming into the engine. So on a circle slide, where it's circular, um, you're going to get more air on the edges of it and not as much in the front of it. Um, it's going to create a little bit of turbulence, but with the flat slide carburetor, you won't have that issue. Also, these carburetors tend to come with a better air filter. Um, you know, it allows more airflow without you know getting too much dirt in the engine obviously you want to go ahead and oil it somehow or keep an eye on it and the third reason is that you know this carburetor has instead of a needle adjustment it actually has um, pre-drilled holes inside of it I'll throw up a picture and as you open that throttle slide it uncovers those holes and you can really fine-tune those like if you really wanted to let's say your bike was running a little bit too lean on top 
the final hole before it gets the full throttle, you know, when the, th the slide's going up, you could drill that slightly larger and that will allow more fuel to be pulled through. And you can really fine tune this carburetor. Mind you, technically it has less adjustments than the NT, but the way it runs is so much smoother. And you know, when I'm only at half throttle, like I stated earlier, it's just butter smooth and I really recommend the carburetor. And you know, if you don't know what you're doing, just stick with the stock one, but if you have a bit of experience with these motorized bike kits, then uh, definitely consider upgrading to one of these. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you guys next video in peace. Have a wonderful day as always.